Okay, um, the first thing that uh, I'd really like to say and uh, is to thank Anna for um, providing this opportunity for ordinary everyday people like ourselves to uh, communicate our thoughts um, and certainly help um, people become more awake. I've, um, I've watched all the videos um, that Anna's posted recently and I think they're great and um, yeah, I think uh, it really does encourage people to do some more research and to delve into what's going on. Um, basically, I agree with a lot of what's being said um, regarding uh, COVID-19, the tests, um, false positives, uh, the fact that masks don't really work and the data supports that, um, the hydro hydroxychloroquine debacle, um, which is clearly being hidden by mainstream media, and uh, basically the lies that were being told in uh, mainstream media, particularly the BBC. Okay, um, really I want to address why is there all this madness? Um, and what is not being addressed? I've heard about Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, um, and I generally agree with the direction of travel with this. Uh, that seems to be quite unstoppable in some cases. Um, but I think there is a major distraction going on that has been going on. Just um, just think back over the last year. We've had things like, um, you know, the, the fires, floods. Um, we've had uh, Extinction Rebellion, Trump impeachment, Black Lives Matters riots, COVID-19 second wave, now masks, and I think all of this is a distraction from what is really going on, and I'm going to cover that now. Um, there's an old adage, if in doubt, follow the money. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read this. Imagine for a minute that you are a wealthy banker and have no compassion. You are only interested in money, power and control. That sounds like the bankers to me. The current monetary system that exists in the world today was created in 1913 by a private company, the Federal Reserve. It is inherently bad for humanity and is designed to put the masses into debt and transfer wealth to the rich bankers. <clears throat> the reason it's so bad is that it allows the banks to create currency from absolutely nothing and lend it to governments, businesses and people and charge them ongoing interest, thus enslaving them. Defaults result in the assets, which is mainly property, going to the banks. Over time, there is accumulation of assets by the banks. Now, it gets interesting. Imagine this system can only survive if current currency is continually created. But over time, this causes its value to decrease, and eventually drop to zero. This is called inflation and we see it in rising prices in the shops. There comes a time when the system fails and it has to be reset. However, if the people realise they have been duped, there would be outcry. So what would the evil bankers do? I hear you ask. They would cause a massive distraction. In the past this has been wars, but this time there is no conventional war, at least not yet. The time, this time, the distractions are what we are experiencing now. Think back as to what has happened in the last year. We have had fires, floods, Extinction Rebellion, Trump impeachment, Black Lives Matters, COVID, and now the mask and second wave debacle. We are all distracted and divided. Why? To stop us knowing what is really going on and challenging them. There is going to be a reset of the financial system and they don't want the blame for the fallout. We are already seeing businesses failing, failing and jobs being cut. The dollar and indeed other currencies will ultimately be replaced. Before then, government's debt will be increased still further, resulting in more inflation. This money will be used to stimulate the economy and convert the new infrastructure the inflation will mean higher prices and people will suffer. 
there are financial changes happening behind the scenes right now so that when this gets more obvious and more painful for the people, it can be launched as a way to save the day. This has been planned for many years. Banks across the world are currently developing central bank digital currencies. These new currencies are different from what we know now. It's programmable currency that can have a smart contract built into it to control how it is used. The International Monetary Fund, the IMF, will use this new technology to increase its holdings from $1 trillion today to many hundreds of times this value. This will be used for bailouts for countries, for their debt, as long as they follow their rules. We can see some of these conditions now with the COVID-19 lockdown. Other rules will be regarding carbon taxation and land use, amongst others, all part of the great reset that we see from the World Economic Forum. Now, I know that's a lot to take in. All I do suggest is that you take the time to research some of what I've said and you will find that it is, in fact, the case. I do wish you luck in all of your endeavours with, uh, with your investigations and please do post your own thoughts. OK, bye.